Well, hello everyone. How you doing tonight? Got another video for you. And guess what? I know you've seen that episode of She-Hulk with Megan Stallion. When Megan Stallion was shaking her bat jiggly ass along with She-Hulk shaking her muscular green ass. Man, it's your boy. You already know what it is. You ain't got asked by it. You ain't got a question. Uh, just seen She-Hulk episode three. Uh, L, what's your boy? What's your boy think of it? Um, yeah, it was all right. Nah, actually, uh, it was pretty good. I had fun with this episode. Um, uh, it was pretty fun. Um, I, I, I do understand and I get completely the backlash this show's getting. I do. I understand it. I get it. I get it. At first, you know, with all my other reviews with Thor and, and with Doctor Strange, I knew what it was because ain't no way in <laughs> did y'all think that legitly Thor Love and Thunder and Doctor Strange, the Multiverse of Madness sucked. You may think that certain things should have happened here, there and that, but to be completely trash, right. Anyways, so I knew what it was with that. Y'all just miss Iron Man. But this right here, I could I get why people may not like She-Hulk for the people who are not misogynist or chauvinistic people. You know what I'm saying? Like this this it, it is pretty silly. So far at least. Like it is some things in this show that could be taken a little bit more seriously. But again, we got to go back to the comic books. That's how She-Hulk comic books are. She wasn't really meant to be taken all that seriously. Now, as her character grow, grew, she, you know, developed a, uh, developed a more serious uh, story arc and more serious character arc. But for the most part, I mean, come on, man. She's a, she's a female Hulk. You ain't gonna get, you know, much serious, much serious content from that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that it's because she's a female. It's just because, you know, whenever you have a a, 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 a lower version of a OG character like the Hulk, Batman, or Spider Man, and you give them a, a story of a fucking not even Batgirl, fucking uh, Azriel or 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 uh, Spider Pig. Like, come on, bro. Ain't nobody gonna take that seriously. Now, She-Hulk, she's nowhere near as silly as the concept of a spider pig. But, you know, the Hulk being such a, a threatening, rageful character. And to have that be a, in a woman's perspective. Uh, or, or have that be a woman. Uh, and to operate in the same way as Hulk did you 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 could make you could, you could cock some heads like eh, that don't really seem all intimidating you know what I'm saying like there's ways for women to be intimidating that's not in the same way of man you know but I won't get too much of that let's get to this episode um yeah basically you got she Hulk she um still trying to defend uh Blonsky trying to get him out of jail uh you know, you got him escaping from prison, which I'm going to say doesn't make sense for a timeline. About to get to that in a second. But, you know, trying to escape from the prison. Um, and you got a side story of that uh, douchebag of a lawyer uh, colleague that she has um, is in legal trouble because it, he got... Scammed out his money by a shape-shifting Asgardian from New Asgard who shapeshifted her way into make herself look like Megan the Stallion. Uh yeah, this this episode definitely went there and in, in as far as silliness. Um I mean, like I said, I don't mind it. I, I, I think it's cool for now. Like like but eventually let's build up some more serious content like you know at the end of the episode you got her fighting some goons that seem like they try to maybe take her power or maybe duplicate her power they were, doing, they were trying to do something but for the most part um 
you know the episode was pretty silly so hopefully we get some serious you know i felt like the the first two episodes was mid in terms of the serious level and a, and a comedic level uh this one was straight up comedy this one could 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 definitely put uh thor ragnarok and love and thunder a run for his money uh for sure because that shape-shifting as guardian that shit was just ridiculous and i mean that in in, in a good way um but yeah but on to uh the, the main plot that uh dealt with she hawk um so it starts with bruce banner for me so blonsky in episode two escaped out of prison to go fight Wan in that tournament if you watch shane chi you realize that that tournament went on in shane chi hence was she hawk was going on she hawk right now went on the same time as shane chi now at the end of shane chi you saw bruce banner bruce banner arm was still messed up this is true now at the beginning of she hawk his arm was messed up however we saw that his arm was still messed up before he went back into space as Professor Hulk, which then in turn went on at the same time, him going up the, into space as Professor Hulk, went on during the same time as She-Hulk getting this case for Blonsky, as well as Blonsky escaping from prison to go fight Juan in that tournament in Shang-Chi. Now you tell me if that makes sense Because If Bruce Banner's arm was messed up During Shane Chi And the events of Shane Chi is happening During the same time as the events of She-Hawk How the hell did Bruce Banner's arm well, it, it got messed up again And not only that But why I mentioned something about Time traveling Or, or I mean not time traveling I'm tweaking uh, he, he mentioned something about uh, the multiverse being messed up or him doing something with the multiverse you know something with reality and it, it seemed like a reference to Spider-Man No Way Home so you mean to tell me that I'm not saying that it can't happen but it seems a bit messy that they don't got the, the timeline cleaned up and I, I kind of figured they was going I knew they was going to mess up I thought they was going to mess up really with uh you know the whole five year gap thing in avengers endgame i thought some some way somehow they wasn't gonna keep up with that time gap maybe they was gonna have a newspaper in the scene oh it's 2022 when really it should be about uh fucking uh 2026 but whatever uh it, it was a good episode i mean look i i get people's gripe about the show uh they may feel like it's too feminine which in some cases it can be it may feel like it's too silly which i get that me personally it's silly for now it's only been three episodes let's see let's see how it progresses maybe maybe she might end up an episode in the next episode or you know she might end up being going into a, a brawl in the middle of manhattan you you don't know what's gonna go on you know i'm not sure what's gonna happen next but i, I know they're leading up to something very entertaining very good so i'm excited to see it uh but yeah man other than that you already know what i want i want those subscriptions i want those likes and i want you to not question it and i want you not to give me the answer because you already know what it is yeah Showing all the girls who's the latest room in fashion Tight black jeans, is it leather, is it fabric Step a little closer just to see what she rapping Baby, what's your sign, where you from, what's your address No stalking shit, I wanna please you in